Ezra Venechemyah, Ezra 4. Now when the adversaries of Yahudah and Binyamin heard that the children of the captivity built the temple unto Yahweh Elohim of Yashadael, then they came to Zerubbabel and to the chief of the fathers and said unto them, Let us build with you, for we seek your Elohim, as ye do, and we do sacrifice unto him since the days of Echar Chadan, king of Ashur, which brought us up hither. But Zerub, Babel, and Yeshua, and the rest of the chief of the fathers of Yashrael, said unto them, Ye have nothing to do with us to build a house unto our Elohim, but we ourselves together will build unto Yahweh Elohim of Yashrael, as King Koresh, the king of Persia, has commanded us. Then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Yahudah and troubled them in building and hired counselors against them to frustrate their purpose. All the days of Koresh, king of Persia, even until the reign of Dara, rather, Dariyavish, king of Persia, and in the reign of Achash Vorosh, in the beginning of his reign, wrote they unto him an accusation against the inhabitants of Yahudah and Yerushalayim. And in the days of Artach Shashta, wrote Bishlam Mithrada Taveel and the rest of their companions unto Arkash, rather, Artach Shashta, king of Persia. And the writing of the Sefer was written in the Aramith tongue and interpreted in the Aramith tongue. Recham, the chancellor, and Shimshai, the scribe, wrote a Sefer against Yerushalayim to Artach Shashta, the king in this sort. Then wrote Recham, the chancellor, and Shimshai, the scribe, and the rest of their companions, the Din Yamin, rather, the Din Naim, the Afar Kachaim, the Tarpelaim, rather, Tarpelia, rather, Tarpelaim, the Apachaim, rather, Afar Kaim, the Achavaim, the inhabitants of Babel, the Shushan Kim, the Dahavaim, the Elaimim, and the rest of the nations, whom the great and noble Achnapar brought over and set in the cities of Shomron, and the rest that are on this side the river, and at such a time. This is the copy of the Sefer that they send unto him even unto Artach Shashta, the king. Your servants, the men on this side the river, and at such a time, be it known unto the king that the Yahudim which came up from you to us are come unto Yerushalayim, building the rebellious and the bad city, and have set up the walls thereof, and joined the foundations. Be it known now unto the king, that if this city be built, and the walls set up again, then will they not pay toll, tribute, and custom, and so you shall endamage, rather, endamage the revenue of the kings. Now, because we have maintenance from the king's palace, 
and it was not meet for us to see the king's dishonor. Therefore have we sent and certified the king. That search may be made in the safer of the records of your fathers. So shall you find in the safer of the records. And know that this city is a rebellious city, and hurtful unto kings and provinces, and that they have moved sedition within the same of old time. For which cause was this city destroyed? We certify the king that, if this city be built again, and the walls thereof set up, by this means you shall have no portion on this side of the river. Then sent the king an answer unto Recham, rather, Recham, the chancellor, and to Shimshai, the scribe, and to the rest of their companions that dwell in Shomoron, and unto the rest beyond the river, peace, and at such a time. The Safar which ye sent unto us has been plainly read before me, and I commanded, and search has been made, and it is found that this city of old time has made insurrection against kings, and that rebellion and sedition have been made therein. There have been mighty kings also over Yarushalayim, which have ruled over all countries beyond the river, and toll, tribute, and custom was paid unto them. Give ye now commandment to cause these men to cease, and that this city be not built, until another commandment shall be given from me. Take heed now that ye fail not to do this. Why should damage grow to the hurt of the kings? Now when the copy of King Artach Shashtaz Sefer was read before Recham and Shimshai the scribe and their companions, they went up in haste to Yarushalayim unto the Yahudim and made them to cease by force and power. Then ceased the work of the house of Elohim, which is at Yarushalayim. So it ceased unto the second year of the reign of Dariavish, king of Persia.